Hey, buddy. Got the ascension emblem. I did. Come with me. Don't put me into another Pokemon fight. Oh, no. It's just one of these. The last time I was here was years ago. When I was a young man, I started the Shrine Challenge in the hopes of finding the strongest trainers in the entire world. In the 30 years, only three trainers have completed it. The last one was Green from Kanto. God, she was annoying. Who you've met. This machine will certify you as the fourth person ever to get this far. Yeah! Growled on. Abs the absolute beast. That was the hardest catch, I think. Apart from maybe Ho-Oh. Latios, speedster. Kyogre we didn't actually use. Which is a bit sad, because I know a lot of people like Kyogre. Rayquaza was really good. And looks very cool. Honestly, I've never seen Jirachi's normal form, so I'm not sure about Jirachi. But I do like the floating head. And there he is. There's God. And there's me. Groudon, yeah, Groudon was, at, to be fair, we caught him in like the first or the first or second day we got to the Sevi Isles, and we used him the entire time because he was absolutely astonishingly powerful. But like, we had the rest of the team, we still wanted to level up, so he was kind of just... Yeah, I think it's because Grau it's because Kyogre's good into Groudon, because Groudon's, uh, Groudon is ground type, so Kyogre is super effective against him. But I think Groudon's the better Pokemon by far. I really like Groudon. That's it. We did it. We finished Pokemon Fool's Gold. Yes! Finally. That has been almost two months of playing. I will say, that was amazing. That is by far one of the best Pokemon experiences I have ever had. The sprites were cool, the types were cool, the changed legendaries were awesome. Even the extra, the, the Sevi Isles, the extra region, fantastic. It was really, really cool. I, that was probably some of the most fun I've had while playing Pokemon. Yes, that was, that was brilliant. I can't recommend this game enough. That was, if you like, even if you're, you know, you just like Pokemon. Or like me, you like the older Pokemon because you stopped playing at a certain point. That is fantastic. Oh, that was brilliant. Um, next week, we're going to set things up for the Ruby Randomizer. And um, I think, honestly, we might have to turn it up. We might have to turn the randomness to 11 for it to be as good as what, uh, as good as the last couple of weeks have been for Pokemon with Pokemon Fool's Gold. But thank you to all of the people that made Fool's Gold and to anyone watching any of my content or any other content about it. I highly recommend this. This ROM is fantastic. Is in fact. And there it is. There's the game winning team. That's it. We finished. Did all of the first region, uh, all of Johto or Kanto, and then all of the other one, Johto or Kanto, whichever way round it is. And then we did all of the Sevi Isles. We are the Pokemon Master all over Falls Gold. And we have every legendary, apart from Mewtwo. Mewtwo was the only one we didn't catch in the whole game, I think. Well, we didn't find all of them, to be fair. But, of the ones we found, we caught every single legendary we could. 
Um, as I've said, this is this ROM hack is fantastic. To the creators, you did an incredible job. And to everyone who hasn't played it, you should absolutely play this game. Whether you like the old games, whether you like the new games, this is an incredible fan take on Pokemon. And you should 100% play it. Um, but for today, I guess that's it. Hour and 20 minutes. Just enough to finish off the game. Thank you everyone who came in and watched. Thank you Yuki for helping us through this. Um, I 100% understand why you love this game. Uh, and it was... It was a fantastic idea to ask me to play it. Um, like I said, next up we're going to be working on the Ruby and Fire Red randomizers. We're going to work through Ruby, then we're going to go through Fire Red. And then I think the game after that is Emerald and Platinum. Which we're going to do fully randomized the first time. That's the first time I'm going to have played them and we're going to do them fully randomized. And then after that... I think we're going to try Ephemeral, which is supposed to be another really good ROM hack, very similar to Fool's Gold. Not quite as good, not as expansive or quite as good as Fool's Gold, but on a similar idea of like just making Pokemon Emerald better. But um, seeing as I haven't played Pokemon Emerald, it would be weird to try and play the ROM hack version first. So like I said, Ruby Randomizer, Pokemon Fire Red Randomizer, then we'll do Emerald, and then we'll take another break to do another ROM hack. Which I'm actually really looking for. If Fool's Gold is anything to go by, some of these ROM, ha ROM, ROM hacks are fantastic. So, uh, we're not here tomorrow. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday this week, we are playing the new game Last Epoch. Which is dropping tomorrow. So, tomorrow we'll be getting it all installed, set up, and ready for Thursday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we'll probably... We'll try and save, try and not get too excited and play it ourselves. So hopefully the first character we make will be on Thursday and everyone will get to react to it with us. So until Thursday, I hope you all have a nice rest of your day today. I hope you all have a nice Wednesday. And I will see you all later.